the CPC gets a voice. Again. Last year, we reviewed the Lambda Speak 2 for the Amstrad CPC, a superb PCM playback machine and drum machine and speech synthesizer. And Dr. Michael Wessel, the creator of the device over in California, has been busy because he's released the Lambda Speak 3. Now, if you want to see the review of the previous device and uh, all the features from the previous device are included in this one, there's a link in the description below or I'll put a card on the screen as well. The new device arrived in the post and it's much bigger than the previous one. Lots of LEDs and it's, uh, well, all sorts of different things hanging off of it. In addition to the speech synthesis and the PCM playback, it now offers a MIDI interface via a serial UART and also it offers MP3 playback and a real-time clock. And the real-time clock and the MP3 playback is on the back. That's why it's got a battery on there and a little... SD card holder for the MP3 playback. There it is plugged into the CPC. You have some cables coming out of it and you get all these different lights that tell you different statuses of what's going on on the device. The ROM is under the V53 label there and there's a deck talk module on the board as well which gives you the deck talk speech synthesis Another of the chips gives you the Amstrad SSA1 speech as well. Now, you need to install a ROM. Now, you can run the utilities for the device off of floppy, but you get more features if you run it off a of ROM. And I did hit a little bit of a problem because everyone else managed to load their ROM in as far in as far as I know onto their M4 cards. I had some kind of clash and we spent months trying to get this working and i had to and eventually i found out by trial and error that if i hit reset on the lambda speak during startup there we go it works fine we don't know what the problem is there we think it's just possibly with my board or my cpc not sure so you type in ls help and you get all the commands available to you from basic and by goodness there's a lot of them you can do things like Get the device to say the time. It is zero o'clock, 18 minutes and 33 seconds. And that's stored on the real time clock. And say the date as well. It is Monday, January 1st, 200. I've set the date wrong there. It will remember what the time is. I've reset the card, which has killed all my settings. But the real time clock with the battery, it will line. retain all of those settings. End of line. That's a built in line. PCM test. End of line. End of line. And you've still got all the deck talk features, including the singing that you can integrate from BASIC. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer to... Good afternoon, gentlemen. I am a Lambda Speed 3. I became operational at the Lambda Speed plant in Palo Alto, California, in August 2019. My instructor was Dr. Wessel. Full demo of all the speech facilities on the previous video. It's very impressive and you can integrate all this stuff in from your basic and machine code programs. And of course, games that support SSA1 mode will give you speech. There's a party trick. Yes, you can play back MP3s from your CPC, including through the built-in speaker in mono or you can plug into the back for full stereo 16-bit playback. You simply place your MP3 files on the SD card and you can simply run a little program or even code up your own player to do it. And it doesn't use any of the CPU time on the CPC. Once it's set off via the serial commands, the little card runs it all by itself. I'm wondering if this could be integrated in with games. Imagine having your game soundtrack as an MP3 on this card, because you can still mix in the PCM sounds. So all the sound can be mixed together, and you could even have speech in there as well. That would be really impressive. And it's so cool to see your CPC just playing back MP3s. And I believe you have to add that little MP3 board yourself, but it's widely available and very 
cheap, as the deck talk module is as well. You need to add that. But you do have the Amstrad SSA1 support as well as Amdrum. We did the Amdrum stuff on the previous video. But let's run Roland in space to see some integrated audio with speech. That's the Amstrad chip doing that. It's not the best speech chip in the world. But it means you get to experience the um, audio that Amsoft intended when they coded these games with the um, speech. Yeah, and uh, pretty much all the games just shout random things at you. But it's a novelty. And you can mix it yourself. Uh, taking the audio out from the card and the CPC for higher quality, but the card also sends back its audio to the CPC's internal speaker. Which is what I'm doing here, because I didn't do that in the previous video, and people did ask me about that. This is Tube Ruby, a game worth checking out. This is Alex Higgins' World Pool. Alan Sugar actually attended the launch of this game, believe it or not, because Alex Higgins was there. So they got some CPCs out and had Alex Higgins play the game. Also they were to use two joysticks to control the, the game. A one player and two player game. And the speech in this game is completely pointless by the way. Set direction. It just shouts things at you. It's not a particularly good pool game either. Now this device does all sorts of cool things, many of which I'm not set up to do. This really is a hardcore CPC device for people who really want to push their CPC and do stuff you simply could never do back in the day. So I've got some footage from Michael, the designer and builder of the device to show some cool things it can do, because I don't have the kit to show some of this stuff. So we cross via satellite to California, and that's Michael's prototype you can see there on the left. The real device doesn't look like that. April PCM play mode. Send page number, number of pages, and sample rate byte. There you go, you got full polyphonic playback from ROM. You load the samples into the EEPROM and then you can do all this cool stuff. Full 16-bit playback on your CPC. With four channels. That's like the Amiga. Well, better than the Amiga. The Amiga's 8-bit. And that's so cool, you can play the CPC from a keyboard, you can do everything you can do with MIDI. That's such a neat thing, I'm so annoyed I can't actually show this off myself, because it is just amazing. And you can integrate the sounds as well. It's so cool. It's, it, it really is.
The device comes with an extremely extensive manual. There are dip switches on the device that come preset, but if you want to do different things, you're going to need to change them. There's also buttons on the board to reset the CPC and to reset the lamb to speak. Sometimes you need to hit that lamb to speak button if you've changed modes and doing different things. And obviously I had the problem with mine, so I had to hit reset when my CPC booted up in order for the ROM to load in. You don't need to use the ROM, by the way. It, that is just a nice thing to have to give you access to lots of different commands. And the extensive manual gives you details on how to call the thing from basic and machine code and your own program. So the ROM is entirely optional. The Lambda Speak 3 is a difficult device to review because so many of the special cool features I can't actually test here myself because you need the MIDI kit. And of course, we've covered the Lambda Speak 2 device before with the speech, so I didn't want to go too much into that. But as with the version 2 of the device, it's so cool. It's, it's a hardcore CPC user's device. There's no getting away from that. If you just play games on your CPC, if you're a casual user, even if it's just me, as a kind of very keen hobbyist since 1985, you're probably going to look at the device and go, I don't know. What this is going to need is support, because if people can support this device in their games, in addition to their usual AY sound, then that would be so cool, because it opens up a world of possibilities with speech, with MIDI playback, with polyphonic sampled sounds. At the end of the day, if you watch this device, the Lambda Speak 3 sparks your interest. You go, yeah, I want one of those. Then you should get one because you're going to have so much fun playing around with it, especially if you've got the MIDI kit. However, if you're a general user, then you're probably going to want to wait for more support for the device to really get the best out of it. It really is a superbly put together and powerful device for the CPC, but for general users, it's going to need some support from people writing software to really get the best out of it. But it is so, so cool.